All right, so another video from the Brookings Arts Council again this week. Um, as always, my name is Shelby, and today we're going to be talking a little about a little, excuse me, a little bit about color and about some different shapes. And so I'll go ahead with materials and we'll get into the project a little bit more afterwards. So I today just have regular printer paper just on my little clipboard here so I can show you a little bit easier. I have a pencil. I have my big eraser. I have my colored pencils that are kind of hard to see right now. And then I do also have some markers just in case I need those. And so our project for today, you can also use um, crayons or colored color pencils, crayons, markers. If you have paint and you can't, if you're gonna make a mess, you'll clean up after yourself, you could use paint. Um, media is pretty open. Sorry for the um, the crazy cats in the background there. They're playing. Um, but moving on to our project for the day. So talking about colors, we're gonna talk about warm and cool colors. And then we're gonna talk about different kinds of shapes. And we're gonna do that because today we're gonna draw some kind of creative robots. And so the first rule that I want you to write down if you have paper in front of you, just up in the top right hand corner of your paper is I want the robot to be cool colors. So what are cool colors? So do ro robot and then write cool, because robots are cool. That's not what we're doing and it's backwards in the video. It should be, but that's okay. So what are cool colors? So cool colors are colors that remind you of water. So blue or purple or green. So those are cool colors. So I want your robot to be blue or purple or green. And then this next step here, so that's the robot, so that's the whole body of the robot. So like the arms, the legs, the body, the head, if you're doing antennas, things like that. All I want to be cool colors. And then the next part here is I want the buttons, so buttons and like dials, all of those extra things that robots have, I want to be warm. So I wrote the same thing, whoa, robot, cool. And then the different colors, and then I wrote buttons, warm. And so what are warm colors? So warm colors are the colors that are in a sunset. So red and orange and yellow and pink, I think, too. And so those are warm colors. So warm colors remind you of being warm in the sunset and things that are nice and cozy and warm like that. Cool colors, think of like cold winter, like blue and green, cold water. That's what you think of when you hear cool colors. So I want the robot itself to be cool and I want the buttons and dials to be warm. So now kind of moving on to the robot, um, I would like you to use kind of three main shapes at least once. So I would like you to have at least one square it doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter if it's the head or the body or the leg, it doesn't matter to me. And you can have more than one, but I want you to have at least one. I want you to have at least one circle. And again, it doesn't have to be any particular place. And I'd like you to have at least one triangle. Okay. And so other than that, you can use whatever shapes you want. If you want dials or buttons or rectangles or different shapes, by all means use those, but I want you to for sure have one of each of those shapes. And so from there, I would say, draw your very best robot. Make sure you fill the page. And then when you color it in, think about the cool colors that we talked about, blue, purple, and green, and the warm colors that we talked about, red, orange, yellow, and pink. Um, and then color in those specific things. Um, I'm not going to show you how to draw a robot because I think they're way more fun if you kind of come up with your own. So more of a prompt today and kind of some more technical terms that we talked about color and shapes. Um, I will post a picture of a final one that I have done at the very beginning of this video. You should see it and like kind of have seen it before you come in. You can always I'll go back and look at that again um and i will post these kind of rules that i wanted you to go about to at the beginning so you have all the information and then me talking on top of it and i would always love to see what you come up with um you can always send it to the brookings arts council's facebook page or through email same with questions or concerns or maybe suggestions for future videos um but really that's all i got for you today again i'll post um a picture of my final one just so you can see what i mean but robots today so be creative they don't have to look like every other robot have fun with it um but yeah that's what i got for you today so have a good weekend